Has this ever happened to you? You're going about your day, minding your own business, when suddenly you realize you're completely and utterly out of- Fits and the tantrums, where did they all go? Come on. Maybe you lost some battling your never-ending to-do list. Trying to justify your life choices to your mom on the phone? No, mom, it's not porn. It's just a bunch of free videos with my body and occasionally my feet that people can watch online. Or dodging that guy from Tinder who sent you five messages too many about how much he loves anime. Regardless, today I'm gonna walk you guys through my lazy makeup, hair, jewelry, and outfit ideas for days when I wanna look cute but really can't be bothered to give a fuck. So first up, here are some easy and comfortable outfit ideas. My go-to lazy day outfit is always a dress. It looks fancy, but it takes so little effort to throw on because you don't have to match your top and your bottom. Midi dresses are especially nifty if you haven't bothered to shave in a while. Not that body hair is anything to be ashamed of, but you know how it'd be sometimes in today's patriarchal society. We love gender standards. Throw on some boots or sneakers to dress it down and stay comfortable on your feet all day. If it's a tighter or shorter dress, I like to layer on an oversized jacket so I feel a little more cozy and bundled up and relaxed. I don't think you guys have ever seen me in leggings before because I really don't wear them on a day-to-day -day basis and I have a personal vendetta against athleisure, but I wanted to include some extra cozy outfits for you guys. Here I paired some high-waisted leggings with a cropped hoodie to stay comfy but not lumpy <laughs> by keeping my waistline defined. Here's another outfit with those same leggings. I swapped out the hoodie for an oversized t-shirt and layered a denim jacket on top to make the outfit look less like pajamas and more put together. And finally, here's a fall option with a balloon sleeve cardigan that's just as comfortable as a hoodie, but looks a lot more stylish. Another tip is to look for pants that have a stretchy waistband, but look deceivingly tailored. These fuzzy stretchy plaid pants have been my favorite for years because they feel like leggings, but the plaid pattern makes them look kind of like dress pants. I recently got these tan pleated plants, plants, <laughs> pants, which look like a business person in the front, but feel like stretchy pajamas in the back thanks to the elastic. Even with a plain white t-shirt, this outfit is simple and comfortable and loose and stretchy, but still looks like I put in way more effort than I actually did. And my final tip when all else fails is to wear all black. You can pretty much throw together any texture and any silhouette with a black outfit, and it'll still manage to look sleek. If you want to take it up a notch, one of my favorite styling tips is to do an all black outfit and then add one contrasting accessory and then wham bam, yes ma'am, you will look put together in no time, ready to deal with the rest of the shit your day has to offer. Now you might be wondering, Ashley, what jewelry are you wearing with all those outfits? And oh ho ho, do I have the answer for you. A good set of jewelry is one of my favorite ways to make my outfit look a lot more put together with really minimal effort. Recently, I have just been throwing on a simple set of gold earrings and a little gold choker, and it just dresses up any outfit. It's such a no-brainer in the morning when your brain is still buffering. Oh, where did you get this lovely set of gold jewelry, Ashley? Oh, I'm glad that you asked. <laughs> I actually designed this jewelry and it's launching today, which is crazy and exciting and cool. I've been wearing them in a lot of my videos and Instagram posts, but I haven't been able to share the news with you guys yet. So yeah, you can buy these if you want now, which is super cool. And I made them. What? <laughs> I wanted to create a collection of jewelry that's vintage inspired, but at the same time is wearable enough for every day. And it's just something that like elevates your everyday outfit a little bit. Everything in the collection is under $30 and many of the pieces are under 25 as well. So I think I found the perfect balance for you guys between something that is affordable and something that's really well-designed and high quality, if I may say so myself. Next up, here's an ultra quick version of my everyday makeup tutorial. Be warned, I'm not a very good beauty guru, but I tried my best. Right now, I am barefaced in my bathroom to show you guys my one minute makeup tutorial. AKA my makeup for when it's like 9 p.m. on a weeknight and that cute guy sends you a Snapchat, but you don't want to open it quite yet because you know that he can see when you open the Snapchat and you don't want there to be too big a delay between when you open it and when you send a cute selfie back. But it's like a little bit cringy in today's society to use one of the Snapchat filters to obviously try to make yourself look good. But at the same time, we haven't gotten to the point where we actually like accept acne as something normal and cute. So you have to put on makeup to make yourself look presentable but like 99% of the time when you open the guy's photo, it's just a slightly pixelated photo of the spaghetti he ate for dinner anyway, and there's no need for you to reply, so there wasn't any point to begin with. And that's the makeup that we're doing right now. So I have all of my makeup artillery laid out. We're gonna start the timer. Hey Siri, set a timer for one minute. Okay, your timer is set for one minute. My Siri is an Australian man because I wanna get used to asserting myself around male voices and not feeling bad about it. Okay, my timer's starting. So first we got brow gel, because my brows are a little bit 
lacking. This is a tinted one from Benefit. And if you kind of like put enough brow gel on, it like kind of makes up for the fact that you don't have your brows penciled in. Shit, this is harder than I thought. This is taking a while. Okay, okay. You know what, the bangs cover most of it anyway. We've got concealer. I just slap that on the sides of my face where I have any acne. James Charles is screaming right now. This blending job is like so lackluster. <laughs> Got some fun above the eyebrow acne too. What the fuck? That was one minute? <laughs> okay, you know what? We're gonna do it for a two minute makeup tutorial. One minute goes way faster than I thought. Lip gloss. A little stick blush because we don't have time to uh, use my little Glossier cloud paints that I usually use. A tiny bit of this highlighter stick too. And a little bit on the nose. And then if we can, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. Fuck, you are not meant to do eyeliner in a viewfinder. And there's two minutes. <laughs> okay, here is what we got. You know, it's not perfect. It's not some James Charles level glam, but my face is looking natural. My skin is looking a little clearer. I have a little bit of a rosy flush going on. <laughs> And that's really the most you can ask for in literally two minutes. I wanted to show you guys one quick alternative to this look. So I've seen in all of the like quick makeup tutorials that I watch that you should put on a bold red lip to automatically make yourself look more put together. But if you are an eater and a talker like I am, like pretty much all women are, <laughs> then you know that having lipstick on is just way too high maintenance throughout your day. I have this really dark red tinted. Oh my God. I have this really dark red tinted lip balm from Milk. So if I layer this up enough, it turns into kind of a dark red lip stain. Now it kind of looks like a little glossy red lip, but this is so much less high maintenance than a regular lipstick. You can like eat, you can talk, you can like rub it off and it doesn't look patchy or anything, which is a godsend. So yes, tinted lip balms slash lip stains for the win. Oh God, nobody has said for the win since like 2008. Who am I? <laughs> And lastly, let's talk about my last minute hairstyles I do when my hair just is not cooperating or I just haven't bothered to wash my hair for like five days because you guys know once you get long hair, it is like a mission. And sometimes my biceps are just not up for it. So my first hairstyle when my hair is utterly and completely hopeless <laughs> is to literally just separate my hair in two and do two simple braids. It literally takes like three seconds. I'm gonna secure the end with one of these thin elastics. I prefer these to a big chunky elastic because they just look a little bit more dainty and streamlined at the end of your braid. And then repeat that on the other side. Elastic. Oh shit. And then to make it look a little bit less pippy long stocking, <laughs> we're just gonna zhuzh them up. Just like get your fingers in there and mess it up a little bit so that it looks more relaxed. I like pulling apart the sides, especially at the bottom, so it makes your hair look thicker too. <laughs> there we go, super cute, super simple. People literally always compliment me on these too, and they're like, oh, your hair is so cool. It's like, thank you. It took me five seconds and I did it because my hair was super janky that day and I didn't want people to notice. If my hair is really gross and I am truly out of fucks, you know I'm about to throw my hair into a messy bun. So I've got one of these I mean a scrunchie. <laughs> I think that meme is too old. I'm sorry. I find that they grip my hair a lot better, especially if you get a velvet one or a corduroy one because the fabric has like a good grip to it, if that makes sense. So my hair tends to not slip out of the bun as fast. I'm gonna separate my bangs and my little front tendrils. Bring up the rest of my hair. I don't slick this back too much because I don't want it to look like a ballerina bun. I want it to look a little bit more textured and spontaneous. Then I twist my hair around itself, put the hair tie on, zhuzh it around until it looks halfway decent. <laughs> there we go, looks like a bun on top of my head. Applying approximately the same method, we can also do a high ponytail, AKA the hairstyle that I wore every single day to high school when I was too lazy to wash my hair before Ariana Grande made it cool. The key for ponytails for me is to like make sure that when I'm looking straight forward at somebody that the hair still peeks off the top of my head. Like that is how high it needs to be. Otherwise I look like a little bald egg. And let's be honest, if I'm at the point where I'm doing a high ponytail, I probably have not had time to style my bangs and wash them and make them look cute. So I am gonna pin them back with a bobby pin and expose my forehead 
scandalous. Now this is the real trick that I use when my hair is greasy as fuck because when it's slicked back like you can really see all the grease build up on your scalp. So I take a little headband or you can even use like a ribbon from one of the many gifts your suitors has left at your doorstep. I just tie it twice in a knot so we get a little floppy bow and this way the headband covers up all of your greasy roots and no one is the wiser. <laughs> and my last hairstyle, if you could even call it that, is really simple. It's literally just putting barrettes in either side of your hair. Where'd you get those barrettes, Ashley? Oh, oh, I may have designed them as well. And they're also available as part of my jewelry collection. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> or if you have bangs and you wanna keep them back, you could also pin them back with these hair clips. And there you go. Then your greasy bangs are out of your face, but in a stylish way. <laughs> I forgot to film an outro because I am a disorganized mess this week, to be honest. Depression headache, going strong, mental health, hanging on by a thread. Love that for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to check out the jewelry, it will be linked below. I'm excited. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Bye.